So now I'm going to explain to you how to write the equilibrium expressions using the RICE table. Uh, RICE stands for R is reaction, I is the initial concentration, C is the change in concentration, and E is the equilibrium concentration. Remember again that in our expressions of equilibrium we are not included pure solids and pure liquids are not included. Only aqueous and our gaseous states. All right, I'm going to choose to do one of the ones on the bottom that are a little bit more tricky. So on the second page, everyone should be on the second page to do this. Let's do let's do AG2S. So here I'm going to get that out of the way. We'll hide that. Um, we are given that the K equilibrium, so no, we know only the total. We don't know like the previous equation we had each of the aqueous states here. We don't know that the each aqueous state. So first I'll put rice. And again, for our purposes in honors chem, we won't need to utilize all the information in the rice table, but I do teach it to you in this matter because if any of you go on to college level chemistry, this will be a very uh, useful tool. All right, so I'll have write out what I'm given, which is in solid state. I'll write my expression or my equation, which is silver. And I know silver is a plus one charge. I'll put that in aqueous form. And then I'm given S, and that's a negative two charge. And that's also aqueous form. There's an AQ there. When I balance the equation, though, because I have two on the left side, I'm going to have two on my right side. This is different from what we've seen so far um, for our purposes. I'm going to cross these out because they are not going to be involved in our equilibrium expressions. And again, they will never be involved for this unit in honors chemistry. They'll only be involved when you go on towards college level chemistry. So I'll put little lines here so we kind of keep this a little cleaner and a little bit more noticeable. So the I, the C, and the E's. Uh, the initial, we're always going to start with zero. We have to use a variable now instead of the actual chemical name. So I'm going to put two, and I'll use a variable X, 2X. And my variable for S, since there's one mole, I'm just going to put X. I'm going to, for my equation, just write 2X and X. A lot of tedious. Uh, work on this rice table, but again, I'm teaching it to you because it will come in handy when you move on to college level. We're kind of running out of room on my little screen here, so I'm going to put the math work. Let's. I'm going to cross this out and pretend like this is my my ability to write it out in work. So my K equilibrium expression is that I know that one times ten to the 49th is equal to the equation of concentration of silver times the concentration of sulfur. I'm putting it to the charge of two because I have two moles. So this is my equilibrium constant, and that's all over one. So equilibrium is, is that equal to this. So again, I'm going to rewrite this. And it looks like this answer. But now I'm going to use my variables. From below, I had my variables of silver be 2x. And the 2 is, again, from the number of moles. And then this variable was x. And I put variables in because this will help you solve mathematically. 2x squared is equal to 4x squared. And x is by itself here. And that is all equal to the number that was given. So now we have, again, I'm going to keep rewriting this so you understand that I'm just moving it down and doing math equations now. 4x squared times x is equal to 4x cubed. Oh, we're getting to some math. Pretty fun math here. Um, I need to remove the 4, so I divide it by the 1 times 10 to the... I'll do that so that way you know where I'm coming from. And x cubed is equal to 2.5 times 10 to the negative 50. And what do we do with that 3? Well, we need to take the cube 